Good afternoon, welcome back. This is Saima. If you haven't met me before, I'm a nurse from Southeast England. I provide information about UK nursing, process of becoming a nurse here in the UK, what documents you need to get a visa, how do you get a sponsor, each and everything we discuss on this channel. I try my best to answer all of your queries and also sometimes I make videos about OET preparation or NMC uh, registration, how do we need to do it properly as a nurse, how can you move to the UK from overseas so this is all this channel is about if you haven't subscribed if you're interested in these topics you can consider subscribing please press the bell icon so you don't miss any any of my upcoming info uh, video and uh, if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back as you all know every saturday i make video to answer your questions to answer all of your comments and uh, i did not make a video yesterday uh, i had something very urgent i had something really urgent uh, came up so i couldn't do the videos that's why i decided to do the video today let's dive into the video without any further delay i'm going to answer all of your questions and if you don't know how it works so you put your comments in the comment section and i try to answer them every saturday yes so if you're not sure uh, if you are not sure about anything if you have any question put them in the comment section and i'll try my best to answer them the next saturday all right let's dive into the video without any further delay i'll go to the questions one by one and i'll read the question and answer them so the first question is from MD Rukan Mia. Thank you so much for providing nice information for us. You're most welcome. I'm from Bangladesh. I've done my post graduation in 2011 and I'm doing a job. I'm trying to go to UK with care assistant visa, but I have no practical experience because there is no chance to achieve that type of experience. And I think I have capability to do this job. I need your suggestion about this. I want to assure you I want to assure you already, I have achieved theoretical experience. So, all right, uh, I'm Jirakan. Uh, yes, you can apply for healthcare assistant job here in the UK, even though you don't have experience. Sometimes in the care homes or nursing homes, they do accept freshers as well. All right, and try to try to apply for the jobs which come with the sponsorship. All right, most of the time they post jobs on Indeed or NHS job and they write specifically sponsorship available. So you need to apply for those jobs and if you get if you are if you get hired then you will get the healthcare assistant visa. You don't need to have experience but most of the time the NHS they require you a minimum of 6 months experience. But if you don't have it's fine still you can apply sometimes they hire fresher as well and i need your suggestion about this yes it's really good job you can apply for this and um, you have, you said you have achieved the theoretical experience that's really good and i would say apply on indeed apply on nhs jobs or track jobs and you can get the job all right so next thing md rukan maya really really excellent all right thank you so much i tried uh, she uh, she commented that on uk jobs for skilled and unskilled workers so whenever i see a job we can see on indeed or on it on any other platform i try to put it in my youtube channel on my youtube channel so you can consider subscribing if you are looking for job because every now and then i post video about jobs as well all right so next question is from masuma uh, Assalamu alaikum sister, I'm from Pakistan. Please help me caregiver job because I'm single mother. I'm waiting for your answer. So Masuma, I'm, uh, I'm trying my best to help you guys to provide information about the jobs. And uh, Masuma, you can, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Every now and then I put jobs uh, advertisement. I mean, uh, if I see them on Indeed or Track Jobs or NHS, I include them on my YouTube channel. So you can consider subscribing and whenever I post a video about jobs, you can apply for the, those jobs. Uh, 
and uh, uh, for care assistant job i've recently made two or three two videos about the care assistant jobs they provide visa sponsorship available also so if you haven't watched that video i'll put the link in the description below you can go and apply for those jobs if they are still valid if they are still indeed in need <laughs> all right good luck masuma you can job you can do it. it's quite easy job all right the next question I have here is from Outstanding Nurses Hub. Uh, what documents do I need to present during a remote interview for a nursing job, please? So uh, in a remote interview, you don't, if you are do, going to do it with the agency, agency asks you to submit all your documents to the agency, all right? But for your interview directly with the employer, you don't need to submit any documents. You don't need to show any documents. But beforehand, they will ask you for your CV, uh, for your CV and your uh, uh, documents. If they ask you, you can send them, but most of the time they just ask for your resume, resume. that's it. Unless they ask you to submit anything else, all right? The next question, Outstanding Nurses Hub, uh, exceptionally comprehensive video. Thank you, Saima, you're most welcome. Good luck. Next question is from P. U. Khan. Uh, Ma'am, please tell me interview for healthcare assistant in UK in latest update. How many questions are there in Twitter assumes? So uh, I cannot uh, tell you exactly how many questions they are going to ask you. Most of the most of the times it depends on you how you answer those questions. Uh, so if they ask you five questions and then you answered very well to those five questions, maybe they will not ask you further questions. But sometimes they can ask you maybe 10 or 15 questions. All right. So it depends on your answers. It depends on your interviewer. So there is no exact number how many questions they are going to ask you. All right. Be prepared well, and if you haven't watched my videos for uh, uh, for interview questions for healthcare assistant, you need to watch those videos, and I've included almost all of the questions that you are going to get in your interview. The next question is from Musa TV. Assalamu alaikum, ma'am. I am student of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and after graduation, I want to work in UK, inshallah. So please make a stepwise video for guidance. Thank you. So Musa TV, if you are not sure of uh, my videos that 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 I've already made. You can watch on my uh, YouTube channel. I have loads of videos about NMC registration, about UK nursing, how you can be a nurse here in the UK, each and everything in detail. If you want to watch in English, I have included the video of English, uh, English uh, version also and Hindi version also. So you can go through my YouTube channel and watch those videos. They guide you step by step. How can you become a nurse here in the UK? What are the documents you need? And uh, what is the easiest process to do it? So you need to go through, you need to scroll through my YouTube channel. Thank you for commenting. The next question is from Hina Abbas. Uh, she said, uh, please guide as a diploma nurse, UK aane ke baad kitna time period mein post RN kar sakte hain? Kya UK mein job ke saath further post RN karna theek hai? Means kitna difficult ho sakta hai wahan par job ke saath study manage karna? Ya phir post RN karke hi UK jana chahiye? Taake job par hi focus rahe? Which option is best regarding study while doing job? Please guide. And secondly, agar UK mein as RN aa jaye, to other than nursing kisi or subject ya profession mein further study kar sakte hain. Just like international students, please guide. So yes, Hina, you can do, you can work and study here in the UK, whatever you want to study. The duty rota is quite flexible. You can talk to your manager. They will allow you some further uh, hours uh, to study. And uh, the basic, basic thing is you only work four or three days in a week then you have four days extra you can do your university thing if you want to do something extra if you want to earn extra if you want to work extra or you want to study you can do that it's perfectly fine if you want to do it in your country before coming here it's totally up to you but is there but there is no restriction that you cannot work uh, you cannot study while you work here uh, you can do both but it's entirely up to you if you are here in the uk you are working sometimes like me i get 
get tired i don't get enough time to study but if you don't have kids you are single uh, you are single uh, then obviously you can do both here in the uk or in your country all right so i hope it makes sense next question is uh, from Zar zarish irfan hi sister mera carer ka visa a gaya hai but wo keh rahe hain abhi main apne dependent saath nahi leke ja sakti ek mera baby hai 6 month ka aur mera husband bol rahe hain mujhe abhi kele travel karna hoga maine ye puchna tha ke main kitni der baad apne dependents bula sakti hu aap kitni der baad aaye the so zarish irfan she said, I'm worried that uh, baby ko chhod kar jana hoga akele travel karna hai. So, aap se baat kaise ho sakti hai. So, Zarish, uh, I would say, ye aapki jo hai, uh, employing, uh, uh, jo organization as pe depend karta hai, ke aap kitni dheer mein, uh, aap apne dependence ko bula sakte ho ke nahi. Basically, why they are saying that you should travel alone? Because in the beginning, maybe they will give you free accommodation. So if you're getting free accommodation for yourself, you cannot bring your child and dependent in that accommodation. If you want to utilize that facility, that opportunity to stay in their accommodation for one month or three months, maybe that's why they are asking you not to bring your family. But you can still bring your family if you have enough resources, if you can apply for their visa visa if you can apply for their tickets and you can afford the accommodation here in the uk for them so there is no problem for that if you want to come with them you need to organize these all things beforehand before they come if you can do these things you can bring your family with you there is no problem at all and the employing authority employing organization they will not have any problem anyways all right if they are asking you to come alone maybe they are thinking that you won't be able to manage you won't be able to concentrate on your job but obviously uh, if you can manage with your work and with your family you can bring them if you if you can afford the tickets for them if you can afford the visas for them if you cannot if you can uh, uh, pay for their accommodation and everything they can come together with you but uh, if you are going to stay in the hospital accommodation you cannot bring your child and your husband in that accommodation you need to uh, pay for uh, separate accommodation or maybe you can ask your um, uh, ask your employer that i don't want to stay in your accommodation so you can stay outside uh, uh, with your family with your own accommodation all right so there's nothing to be worried uh, if i have a video on um, uh, when you need to bring your family i will put the link in the description below you can watch that video and zarish good luck congratulations happy for you so next question is from bushra Ahtram. Uh, my question is how long it takes for a new worker to get increased pay like how many months of work getting promotion and more salary performance so Busha, uh, in the nhs if you're working in the nhs uh, as a healthcare or as a nurse it depends on your spine points it depends on your band but basically most of the times your pay increase sorry your pay increase every year but there are some uh, jobs like if you do cleaner or housekeeping or and they they have a private agency even in the nhs um they 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 increase your salary every two years according to your spine points according to your band all right but if you are working in the nhs as a nurse or healthcare every year you get a pay increment okay so the next question is from fund me joy how can i get a sponsor very easy <laughs> it seems very easy to say but it's difficult the process if you are a nurse you need to get all your documents sorted uh, you need to pass your oit you need to get your cbt you need to uh, do each and everything and mc registration then you need to apply for jobs then if you get hired if you are selected in the interview then they say okay we are happy to have you we are happy to hire you congratulations and they will sponsor you that's how you get a sponsorship 
okay that's how you get a sponsor so you need to make sure you uh, the all the required documents you have them and then you need to apply for the jobs if they are happy with your performance in the interview if they are happy with your documents if they are happy with your application then they will give you sponsorship they will hire you and that will be your sponsor i hope it make, makes sense the next question is from Mukaddas Hashim. Assalamu alaikum ma'am. I want to ask is there any GPA matter for nursing job in the UK? Uh, I'm not sure about that. You can Google it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what is that GPA. Okay. If I tell you something, I'll be lying. So I don't want to lie. Mukaddas, you can go through Google and check what is that GPA. The next question is from Hima. Hi, tell me one thing. Uh, I'm renting a property through an agent. It's been six months. So one day landlord just came suddenly to our house, even didn't message or call us. Just came is just came. Is this okay? I think everyone have their privacy. And second thing the agent should told us or he has the right to come direct. Let me know, please. Otherwise, I will tell the agent. So Hima, you are you are right you are absolutely right uh, agent or your landlord has no right to come to your house directly without letting you know he should have messaged you he should have told you ahead of time or just maybe just uh, he, he could just ring you and ask are you available on this date or on this time is it okay for you if i come round so basically he should ask you before coming and same for the agent they cannot come you to the house to your house because you are renting means it's your property it's your house you are paying the rent legally they have no right to come just directly without any without any notice or without giving without telling you that can they come or not because yeah you are right everybody have their privacy everybody have their own things so uh, what i think is they should uh, they should have told you before coming instead of just popping up uh, popping in all right so you just need to tell them that if you are going to come next time please let me know ahead of time i'm not home all the time so you cannot just come in just give them a message or call them or just send them a text message saying that i'm not happy uh, that you came to my house directly without letting me know uh, i don't feel it's it's quite right so next time if you have to talk to me or if you have to say to me something just let me know before coming just call me or text me if i'm available uh, for you to come over all right Hima I hope it makes sense yeah landlord and agents they are they can behave quite weird sometimes but um, I have uh, my landlord is uh, from Bangladesh and he's really good I mean every time he calls me he asks me if it's okay if he can come if I'm available or um, if, if 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 we will be home by that time if he comes so they should ask you before coming yes you have the privacy right you have the right to say that that. okay Hima so the next question is from tech check zone tech check zone zone it's a nice name hi ma'am I need to know how much time PNS PNC would take to confirm my verification with NMC UK is there any urgent procedure or fee that I can apply for I asked PNC helpline and they said it would take around a month to get your verification for UK NMC so yes they take time it's usually one month but um, you can ring them they said uh, there is one month turnaround time I, I think there is urgent process also so what you can do is you can go through pnc.org uh, .pk on their website and then see if there is any urgent fees that you can pay but if you have already submitted the documents if you ha have already paid the fee i think you cannot um, uh, expedite, expedite the procedure now 
uh, I mean, it's it's done already. It means uh, you have already paid the fee. You have already done submitted your document. So you cannot um, uh, ask them to. I mean, you uh, have already paid the fee uh, for the procedure. You have already submitted your documents. So I'm not uh, sure that you can still apply for urgent process because um, uh, if you have already done everything, then how are you gonna do it? So just wait for some time. It usually take one month, uh, but you can go through their website if they have anything if they can do anything to fasten the process of your nmc your pnc but it's right yeah you, they usually take one month sometimes more than that if you have paid the fee uh, for them to respond to nm uh, nmc then it's not it shouldn't take that long all right just ring them or email them that if they have responded to NMC, uh, keep emailing them uh, two or three times because every now and then, uh, so maybe maybe this will this can help. But otherwise, they take their time. The next question is from Sadia Farooq. Are there any colleges where students can get free education of nursing? If yes, what are requirements? So there are no such colleges, Sadia, where you can get free education. All the students, they have to pay the fee to get education, to get qualification. If you are working in the NHS uh, as a healthcare or any other job, there are some jobs. Sometimes they come for trainee nurses where they, 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 they pay for your fees uh, to be a nurse if you are working in the nhs nhs pay for you but not all the time and the jobs are like one and thousand people apply for that but there are opportunities you know, they come for training nurses and then you can get free nursing degree but uh, other than that there are no such colleges where they offer you free it's only if you are employed by nhs and nhs pay for your job for your training to be a nurse if there is job opportunity obviously uh the next question is from the complex how to contact you ma'am i need guidance please uh, uh if if it's all right you can put the comment uh you can mention your query or your question in the comment section and um uh because uh, i try my best to answer them every saturday if you have any questions uh, but uh, nowadays we are planning to go back home and uh, i don't have enough time to be honest uh, to go through my messenger account and uh, i uh, i i answer uh, faster on the youtube than on the messenger so i would say just put the put your message in the comment section if it's all right if it's not just let me know on the comment section also so i'll find the way for you all right so that's it for today i hope uh, this video was helpful for you if you still have any questions and queries you're worried about anything if you want uh, to know anything about the uk nursing or about healthcare jobs or interview questions or visa processing just let me know in the comment section guys and i'll be making a video for you next saturday if this video was helpful or you learned something or you liked it give it a big thumbs up you can also share it with your friends and colleagues i'll see you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye god bless subscribe and press the bell icon